Good morning students. So this is physics chapter number 3 lecture 2 and in this lecture we will be studying about combination of resistances. So by combination we mean that we will be connecting two or more resistances together and we will be discussing two combinations series combination and parallel combination. So first of all we will discuss about series combination of resistors. So as you can see in this diagram, the such diagram is called a series combination of uh, resistances. Now here are three resistances R1, R2 and R3 and we have a voltage connected here and the current is flowing like this. So basically there are three points. If any of these three points is satisfied in a circuit then we can say that the resistances are connected in series. So first point is current should remain same. So this means that current the value of the current on each of the resistors should remain same. That is here, if value of the current on R1 is I, on R2 it should also be I and on R3 it should also be I. So then we can say that it is a series combination. Second is, there should be only one path for the current to flow. Now as you can see in this diagram, current is going only in one direction from this to this. That means it has only one part to flow. For all these resistances, current will be flowing in one direction or we can say one path. So Again this is satisfied so we can say this is a series combination and third and the last point is one end of the resistance is connected with the other. Now see here clearly this is the one end of R1, this is the one end of R2. They are connected to each other. Is second end of R1 connected to R2? No. That means only one end of the resistance is connected. Similarly for R2 and R3 you can see clearly only one end of the resistances are connected. So such type of combination when one end of the resistance is connected to other end of the resistance is called a series combination. So in this circuit all these three are satisfied but if any one of the uh, uh, these points are satisfied then it is also a series combination. Okay. So now let us suppose as you know current will remain same. Let us suppose that the voltage on R1 is V1, voltage drop across R2 is V2 and voltage drop across R3 is V3. Okay, so total voltage V will be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So now, as we know, total voltage will be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. And in Ohm's law, you have already studied the value of V is IR, where V is your voltage drop, I is the current and R is the resistance. Okay, so from here, we can write down V as IR equivalent. R equivalent basically means the equivalent resistance of this circuit which we want to calculate. Okay, so V is IR equivalent and V1 will be IR1, V2 will be IR2, V3 will be IR3. So from this equation, I will get cancelled out and so we will get R equivalent will be R1 plus R2 plus R3. So basically this is the equivalent resistance when the resistances are connected in series and this is nothing but just the addition of resistances. Okay, so so the second is when the resistances are connected in parallel. So this is a parallel combination. Now as you can see there are three resistances R1, R2 and R3. Now how to determine parallel combination? Again we will be satisfying three points. Here potential will remain same. That is the value of potential on the resistances should remain same. First point. Second point there should be more than one path for the current to flow. Now as you can see if current will go from here it will go through these three paths. So there is more than one path for the current to flow. And third part all the two ends of the resistances are connected. So both the ends are connected. You can see here this end and this end is connected to R2 and R2 and R3 also there both the ends are connected. So all the three points are satisfied. So this is a parallel combination. Now if I is flowing and let us suppose from this branch I1 is flowing from this branch I2 sorry from this branch I2 from this branch I3. So total we can write down I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. From again from Ohm's law V is equal to IR so I will be equal to V upon R equivalent is equal to V upon R1 plus V upon R2 plus V upon R3 because potential on all the resistances is same only. So from this we will get 1 upon R equivalent is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. So this is equivalent resistance in parallel combination. Okay. So the next topic is cell. Basically cell is the device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy and this is the symbol of a cell. Basically this is a positive electrode and this is a negative electrode. These two are called electrodes. The bigger one determines positive one and the smaller one determines the negative electrode. Okay. So basically we will be discussing about three main terms 
of a cell. So first main term is EMF of a cell and we denote it by this symbol which is uh, uh, similar to E only. Okay. So let us suppose this is a cell and I have connected a voltmeter across this cell. I, uh, and let us suppose the EMF of this cell is E only. This is positive electrode, this is negative electrode. Okay. Now initially if I am saying no current is flowing through this circuit. If I is 0 then how much this voltmeter will note the voltage? It will note the voltage equal to its EMF only. That will means V will be equal to E only in this case if current is 0. So V is equal to V. So how we can determine EMF of a cell? We can say the EMF of the cell is the potential drop across the electrodes of a cell when no current is flowing through it. Okay, so that is EMF of a cell. So now the next is internal resistance. So this is the circuit. Here is a cell of EMF E and internal resistance R. Voltmeter is connected across it and current I is flowing through it. So now as you know resistance always resists the path of current. So when the current I flows through a cell, its resistance resists it. So basically how we can define an internal resistance? It is the resistance offered by the cells, offered by the electrodes of a cell when a current I flows through it. So the next is terminal potential difference. The diagram is same. Now uh, earlier when I was 0, V was equal to E. But now if I is flowing, what will be the value of this voltage? So now as you know, there will be some potential drop across the cell due to this internal resistance. And the formula of potential is IR. So potential drop across the cell will be equal to IR. Now this is a potential drop and its EMF is E. So what will be the overall voltage here? That will be equal to E minus IR because voltage drop is always negative. So now from here as you can see v, uh, E is always greater than V. So this is also a very important question. Why EMF of a cell is always greater than the terminal potential difference or equal to it? It is because uh, when current flows through a, resistance, uh, through a cell, resistance R is offered to it due to which the overall terminal potential difference decreases. And so first of all, we will be discussing series combination of cells. Now as you can see, there are two cells and they are connected in series because current through both the cells is same. Only one end is connected. As you can see, negative end of this uh, cell is connected to positive terminal of this cell. So, um, so this is a series combination and third point only the there is one path for the current to flow. So all the three points are satisfied. So this is a series combination. Now as I earlier told you V is equals to my E minus IR for a cell. So if I write down for first cell V1 will be equal to E1 minus IR1 and V2 will be equal to E2 minus IR2. Okay. So now. Uh, if I substitute the values for all these three, now V is the total potential difference. So for V, we will be writing down E equivalent minus I R equivalent, which will be equal to V1, that means E1 minus I R1 plus V2, that means E2 minus I R2. If I rewrite this equation like this, E1 plus E2 on one side and minus of I R1 plus R2 on one side. So E equivalent will be equal to, and uh, one more thing, if I compare these two equations now, as you can see, E equivalent will be equal to E1 plus E2 and IR equivalent will be equal to minus I R1 plus R2. So from these two we get E equivalent is equal to E1 plus E2 and R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2. Now let us suppose if the cells are identical. Identical cells means EMF of both the cells is same and internal resistance of the, both the cells is also same. Now if these two conditions are applied here, from this equations we will get E equivalent will be equal to E plus E that means 2E and same R equivalent will be equal to R1 plus R2 that means 2R. Okay, So this is a series combination when the cells are non-identical and when the cells are identical. So basically it is only the sum of the EMF or sum of the internal resistance. So the next is grouping of cells in parallel. So here we have two cells and they are connected in parallel. How we can say that because the current has more than one path to flow first point. Second point positive end of the connected uh, of the cell is connected to positive of the another negative of the cell is connected to negative of the another that means both the ends of the cells are connected so again they are in parallel and one more thing potential across the cells both the cells will remain same that will be equal to v only okay is i1 r1 for first cell and v is equal to e2 minus i2 r2 for second cell as you can see here because this is the parallel combination v will remain same I will be different. 
सो इफ आई कैलकुलेट वैल्यू ऑफ आई फ्रॉम दीज टू आई वन विल कम टू बी इवन माइनस वी अपॉन आर वन आर वन सॉरी दिस विल बी आर वन ओके एंड आई टू विल कम टू बी ई टू माइनस वी अपॉन आर टू ओके सो नाउ वॉट इज द टोटल करंट टोटल करंट इज आई सो वी कैन राइट डाउन आई इज इक्वल टू आई वन प्लस आई टू सब्सिट्यूटिंग दीज टू वैल्यूज हेयर आई इज इक्वल टू आई वन प्लस आई टू सो आई हैव जस्ट सब्सिट्यूटेड द वैल्यूज हेयर एंड आई एम नाउ आई एम री राइटिंग दिस इक्वेशन लाइक दिस टेकिंग द टर्म्स ऑफ ई एम एफ ऑन वन साइड एंड टेकिंग द टर्म्स ऑफ वी ऑन वन साइड सो दैट मीन्स आई विल कम टू बी ई वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस ई टू अपॉन आर टू माइनस वी वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस वन अपॉन आर टू नाउ फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन आई एम जस्ट कैलकुलेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ वी दिस वी सो वी विल कम टू बी ई वन आर टू प्लस ई टू आर वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू माइनस आई आर वन आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू ओके सो नाउ एज यू नो वी इज टोटल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस सो वी कैन राइट इट एज ई इक्वेलेंट माइनस आई आर इक्वेलेंट नाउ कंपेयर दीज टू इक्वेशंस इक्वेलेंट सो दिस विल बी ई इक्वेलेंट सो ई इक्वेलेंट विल कम टू बी ई वन आर टू प्लस ई टू आर वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू माइनस आई आर इक्वेलेंट सो दिस इज आर इक्वेलेंट सो आर इक्वेलेंट विल कम टू बी आर वन आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू सो दिस इज द इक्वेलेंट ई एम एफ एंड रेजिस्टेंस इन अ पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन नाउ अगेन इफ आई से द सेल्स आर आइडेंटिकल आइडेंटिकल सेल्स एज आई अर्लियर टोल्ड यू इट मीन्स ई एम एफ विल रिमेन सेम फॉर बोथ द सेल्स एंड इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ बोथ द सेल्स इज ऑल्सो सेम सो इफ आई कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम दिस फॉर्मुला ई इक्वेलेंट पुटिंग ई इक्वल ई वन इक्वल टू ई E R plus E R upon two R that will be equal to E only, and similarly R equivalent will come to be R square upon two R, which will be R by two. So if the cells are identical, this will be used for two cells. If they are not identical, this will be used for two cells. So basically, in today's lecture we have studied about series combination of resistances and parallel combination of resistances, and this was for cells. so after studying these topics you can do these questions from chapter number 3 ncert question number 1 to 4 and question number 20 and 21 thank you